Let's see how to launch EC2 instances using Boto3. Let's get into the demo. Let's create a new Python file here. Let's name it as launch EC2. So for this example, we need to import Boto3 module. So from Boto3, we need to get the client of EC2. Let's refer this variable with a name client. On this client, there are different operations we can perform. Let's see those operations in Boto3 documentation. Let's search for Boto3 EC2 instance. Let's open this link. Let's search for a function using which we can launch EC2 instance. This is a function we are interested in. Run instances is used for launching instances. Let's open this method. And we can go through the syntax of this method. And meanwhile, if you want to know what exactly this method does, you can go through this description here. It says launches the specified number of instances using an AMI for which you have permissions to. Let's come down. Right. It takes a lot of arguments here. So no need to pass each and every argument. For this example, I want to just supply a few things like image ID, instance type, and minimum and maximum count here. So let's grab this information and keep it in the code. So I have taken this image ID from my AWS management console. This is our Amazon machine image ID. I want to supply instance type which is going to be T2 micro in my case. So along with that, I want to even supply min count and max count because min count and max count are mandatory attributes here. Let's keep it as one. So I am supplying maximum count as one and minimum count as one. Let me go and check this document one more time to understand these values. If you see this document, if you go through the attribute details, see this one, max count is required, even min count is required. If you check the written type of this method, it returns a dictionary. This is the dictionary object it returns back. If you want to access certain details from this response, you can go and access that. In this example, from this dictionary object, I want to access instance IDs. So in this case, instances is a key, which is a collection of objects. From that collection, I want to access instance ID and print it. Let's refer back the response here. So from response, I want to access all instance IDs. This gives us list of instances. From instances, I want to access instance ID here. So instance of this one we want to access. Let's paste it in this code. Save this. Let's execute this code. If you see the output, it created one EC2 instance and it's returning back that EC2 instance ID. Let's check the output in AWS Management Console. If you see the AWS Management Console, there is one instance launched and it's running. If you compare that instance ID with this instance ID, it should match. See that? This, this I grabbed it from the output. So this is the instance ID which is launched by Boto3 in AWS Management Console.